Hi and welcome to my video and today I'm shooting this video in Vintage Vision JVC uh, 1080p Vintage Vision 3 CCD cam super fantastic audio and future super fantastic video so today I'm talking about uh, um, Wolfenstein, The New Colossus, um, The Chronicles, um, Wolfenstein Chronicles for The New Colossus. So there's three different chronicles. Um, and they are fun as hell. I don't know. I find these. Uh, this is a great game. I really like it. It's the New Colossus um, Chronicles. The Three Chronicles for the New Colossus. Tons of fun. So, yeah, the graphics are just amazing. And uh, it's just a great game. So yeah, I give I give the new the three chronicles for the um, if you're hankering for some Wolfenstein. Um, this is some pretty cool stuff. Um, they're kind of like three mini mini games. Um, I think it's really cool. I think they could do a whole Wolfenstein series this way. They could do a whole Wolfenstein series this way. Um, with Chronicles. Like, they could literally do a whole series of Chronicles. I think it'd be really popular. So, yeah. So, this one is Joe. And you can just like knock people over, and you got a um, you got a really good punch. Where's the punch? I don't know how you punch them, but you can punch. I can't remember how to punch. There's a button for punch. There we go. So you can punch guys out. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, I really like this series. Um, so yeah, this is like the first one in the series, and then there's, uh, <sighs> the girl who is like a secret agent lady who lost her husband, who was also a secret agent, and then, and I could, I could literally, I could play, I could play a whole series of Joe, this guy, I could play a whole series of, uh, the woman uh, agent, secret agent, or whatever, um, and the last guy too. I could play like literally a whole Wolfenstein Colossus uh, or a Wolfenstein new series with that, and the two daughters. You know, oh, that's so such great new content. The two new daughters, um, these three new characters. You know. I think it's all really good stuff. You could do like a whole series and uh, it would be excellent fun. So yeah, I highly rate this uh, New Colossus uh, expansions. Um, and I only paid, you know, I can't remember, I paid 15 or probably $15 or something like that um, on sale. So yeah, there's, I wouldn't, you know, spend a lot of money on this stuff. I would wait till it's like fifteen, twenty dollars for all three, you know, for all three of the expansions. Like, don't buy um, just one for like twenty dollars. That's way too expensive because there's just not much to it, right? Like, you know, there's like a couple of hours worth of gameplay, probably like two or three days to get through it all. Um, you know, as long as you're enjoying yourself and you're not like, you know, take your time and enjoy it, and um, it's a fun, these are fun games. 
Um, and, uh, you know, everybody was complaining um, that everything is exactly the same. Um, and I don't agree with that. Um, um, I think everything, it's got a fresh, it's definitely got a fresh new look over and a nice, um, it's a more polished look um, than the new Colossus for sure. Um, everybody said like they recycled environments and yeah, they did, but they still offered enough stuff in it to make it nice and fresh and sort of the comic book sort of, I love that. I love the sort of comic book episode kind of thing is very cool and very fun. And I think they could do like, they could do tons of video games like that, you know, with these, uh, comic book episode type, you know, with, uh, Oh, that would be so cool. I love, you love comic books because, you know, you just sit there as a kid and you get a whole stack of comic books um, and you just go through and, you you know, it's just like you did, you jump into one and it's like immersive, right? So I just love that. Oh, it's just so much fun. And, um, and also like a lot of comic books used to, I don't know what, the, I haven't read comic books since I was a kid, but they used to have like a sense of... Um, sense of humor to them and also they used to echo a lot of what was happening in they they used to be very current and timely like comic books used to really like you know we had the batman movies and all that stuff well comic book backs when i was a kid they had so many references to um politics so you're a little kid but you feel like you're clued in you know and i think that there's a huge thing where comic books you know don't reference the current situations in the world and you know I remember there was such a joy because comic books used to poke fun at like situations um, in the world and relationships and all things like that so there was like lots of subtext going on but you know in a good way it wasn't you know it was really cool so yeah I mean I, I think that's lost out um, to comic books now. I don't know why, but, you know, I saw, like, the first Spider-Man and stuff, and they make this sort of, like, preteen, sort of very sanitized, you know, sort of, uh, it's almost like unrealistic sort of movies that are sort of sanitized for humanity and they don't go into issues they don't they're not in any depth and so it's a really superficial thing so anyways you know this is a fantastic um and it's not like out to lunch you know what i mean like uh the new colossus was just out to lunch you know i mean it was just like such craziness you know like losing your fucking body excuse my language and you know, getting a robotized body and going to Mars and, <clears throat> you know, some of it was good. And, you know, the Ku Klux Klan and, you know, the United States and it was just too much. Like it was just, you know, way over the top, like just crazy. Um, so, yeah, that's the way I thought I think of it. And, um, you know, the, I think we've lost a satire in the world, you know, like for modern satire for things but I think that comes from is like you know the world has to sort of you know I think coming off like the second world war and the Vietnam war and the Korean war um you know everybody was you know in a different place in the world that's my generation because I was born in, in this you know 1969 so you know, the world coming off the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the Second World War, everybody was sort of, you know, living, but on the seat of their pants still. And, um, and you know, humor was made through comics and stuff like that, which I just loved. I loved it. Um, I loved comics from that time, um, reading comics from back then. Now, not so much. Um, you know, you got, uh, you got, it seems like there's, um, you know, uh, 
Satanism, I don't want to be a super Christian or anything, but he, he seems like Satanism has pervaded everything now. So, you know, there's a darkness, you know, that they talk about in comics and now, and there's all dark comics and, you know, there's all darkness in music and satanic music and dark. So there was like this big wave, this big satanic wave that struck in like, it was probably the 70s sometime, you know, with like Led Zeppelin. It was this massive satanic wave of satanic music, you know, a waking up to Satan and all this stuff. And it's sort of like it really, really changed the world. Um, it was like the satanic revolution of the world. And um, before th that, I think everybody was pretty sort of, you know, trying to do the right thing, you know, like a, a very sort of christian moral ethical and sort of family was important and you don't spend money that you don't have you don't go into debt and what a beautiful world that was and um yeah i think it's really sad to say that i hope we don't have to go through scary times just to get there again which really would be sad but anyways so but anyways i love this um i love the um, the video game with the two daughters there too that and they both of these got really horrible reviews. This one, um, the Chronicles uh, for the New Colossus, got really bad reviews. And uh, and uh, and then also the girl, the ones with the two daughters, of like, which was just excellent. I mean, it was such a good game. Um, again, it was like polished. Everything was polished. I just love it. I mean, I just love this. This is such a good game. So, yeah, I mean, Joe can smash through walls. He's like a football player or ex football player who can jump, bash, bash his way, and he can punch. So, that's kind of cool. And blow stuff up. And you can jump into people. Boom. <laughs> I mean, like, how can that not make this whole thing worthwhile? Just to have this guy run and, like, tackle Nazis. I mean, it just makes the whole game worth it, right? Like, come on. And then you got the secret agent girl. You know, she was pretty good, too. And um, so, yeah, this is such a fun game. And you got some mods. You don't got, like, mods like... Um, you don't got the mods that you have in the whole new Colossus game. But nevertheless, it's still fun. He's got the punch punches going. I love that the punches. Like I didn't use the punches. Like, um, but it's such a fun game. Like that's so much easier than trying to um, punching the crates is like a very smart way to do things. It's a lot better than trying to like break open crates. Like punching them is so much better. So it's a really cool game. So yeah, yeah, this is a super lot of fun. And um, yeah, this video is shot in vintage CCD, 3CCD JVC Vintage Vision for super 3CCD sound and, and super um, JVC 3CCD audio. So yeah, we can do all and he's got some mods, like you'll find um, some weapon mods too, which is pretty cool. Oh, look, see, so kicks him in the balls. Isn't that cool? Oh, this is such a good game. And, you know, I mean, look at how smooth. It's buttery smooth. It's a buttery smooth game. 
buttery smooth. I'm about to die. Oh, maybe not. Oh, see, I got the dog with one punch. That was cool. Oh, no more food for me. Oh. Maybe I can hide out up here for a while. I'm packing dual dual guns now, so should be good. I'm dual dual gunning it now. So it should be lots of fun now. bought the I bought the farm there so there's Joe he can carry up to 100 armor so let's go to try another chronicle let's try the last one So yeah, I like it. It's really good. So anyways, I hope you like this. Um, if you're trying to figure out something to do to keep busy during coronavirus time um, and you like New Colossus and you have a decent computer, um, check this game out and check out my other videos um, on YouTube and subscribe if you want. Um, I do a little bit of everything. Uh, music production reviews, tech reviews, um, gear reviews, music gear reviews, software tutorials for music creation, um, the occasional video game review. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Uh, I hope you enjoy the channel and I hope this has given you some good smiles and giggles and, you know, some positive energy. So have a good day. Cheers.